The universe has always been a matter of curiosity for humans and this curiosity gave birth to the subject of astronomy. Today, thousands of scientists and astronomers look skyward through numerous telescopes and observatories present across the world. They try and understand the secrets of the universe through different telescopes. The Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences, that is ARES, an autonomous institute under the Department of Science and Technology, is one such astronomical observatory and home to the country's first and Asia's largest liquid mirror telescope. This innovative technology developed with international collaboration was formally inaugurated on the 21st of March 2023. This innovative technology-based ILMT, established with international cooperation, was formally inaugurated on March 21st by Lieutenant General Gurmeet Singh, Governor of Uttarakhand State, and representatives and scientists of partner nations were also present on the occasion. I'm proud that this world-changing instrument, which is an outcome of years of research, dedication and commitment, is in our Dev Bhumi at Dev Sthal in Uttarakhand. हमारे साथ ऑनलाइन माध्यम से जुड़े केंद्रीय विज्ञान और प्रौद्योगिकी राज्य मंत्री डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह जी का और यहां उपस्थित बेल्जियम के एंबेसडर मिस्टर डीडीआर वेंडर हेसल्ट जी का देवभूमि में हृदय से स्वागत करता हूं मैं हार्टीएस वेलकम टू यू सर आज एक अलग उपलब्धि के साथ आईएमएलटी के रूप में एक और शक्तिशाली टेलीस्कोप की स्थापना न केवल भारत और इसके सहयोगी देशों के लिए बल्कि पूरे विश्व समुदाय के लिए बहुत ही गौरव की बात है यह आईएमएलटी हमारे अंतरिक्ष अनुसंधान के क्षेत्र में गहरी जिज्ञासा रखने वाले वैज्ञानिकों और शोधकर्ताओं के लिए एक नया वरदान है इसकी स्थापना हमारे विश्व समुदाय के कई सहयोगी देशों के साथ सोच विचार समन्वय और सहयोग की भावना के साथ तैयार बहुत ही गौरवशाली महत्वाकांक्षी और व्यापक परियोजना है द फोर मीटर इंटरनेशनल लिक्विड मिरर टेलीस्कोप इज अ मावल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड साइंटिफिक इंश्योरिटी इट्स यूनिक एंड पावरफुल टूल which will aid in exploring the universe and unlocking unlocking the greatest secrets of our cosmos the 4 meter ilmt will help keep a watch on the overhead sky to identify transient or variable objects such as supernovae gravitational lenses space debris and asteroids unlike conventional telescopes mercury is used as a reflective material in this liquid mirror telescope at the base of the ILMT is a 4 meter diameter disk filled with approximately 50 liters of mercury weighing 700 kilograms and the disk rotates at a fixed constant speed on a vertical axis during this process the mercury spreads in the disk to form a thin layer in the container and forms a paraboloid shaped reflecting surface that acts like a mirror liquid mirror technology has made the construction and installation of telescopes quite economical In the past, preparing, transporting and setting up mirrors for a conventional telescope has been a very complex and expensive task. But the transportation of mercury requires small storage and allows larger reflecting surfaces to be made. I am proud to observe and also share with this audience the great uh, achievement by Dr. Banerjee and his team. because the ILMT is the first liquid mirror telescope designed exclusively may i repeat and reiterate exclusively for astronomical observations and therefore i said just a few moments ago it has placed india into a new level of astronomical achievements in the world arena it is also the largest aperture telescope available in the country today and at present it is also the first the very first optical survey telescope in india so we have actually opened new vistas for the nation and while scanning this strip of the sky every night as i said the telescope will generate nearly 10 to 15 gigabytes of the data and this huge wealth generated through it 
of the data will permit application of big data and artificial intelligence for the learning purpose, the research purpose, the development purpose, the L algorithms that will be implemented for classifying objects observed with the ILMT. Today's inauguration is an extraordinary accomplishment in the Indo-Belgian relations and a testament to the hard work and ingenuity of the Belgian and Indian scientists and engineers who spearheaded this project. The close co cooperation between BELSPO, Belgium Science and Policy Office, ARIES, and India's Department for Science and Technology was crucial. And pivotal in this was, and is of course still, Professor Surjay, Surdej of the University of Liège. Over the years, Belgium and India worked together on a number of exciting projects from research on black holes and other exotic objects to climate change and agricultural productivity through Earth observation. I am confident that with this new telescope, together, India and Belgium will be able to unlock many more secrets of the universe and gain valuable insights on a variety of related topics like supernovas, space debris, and asteroids. It is indeed what makes this new telescope so exciting. Even though liquid mirror telescopes are more efficient, there aren't many such telescopes around the world. While the one at Aries has been established in collaboration with Canada and Belgium, India is responsible for its operations and maintenance. The International Liquid Mirror Telescope, which received its first light in 2022 during testing, will now capture images of the sky for the next five years, something the international astronomical community will be waiting for. <laughs>